guys, welcome back to yet again another video of mine. So in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I am going to be comparing two hair straighteners. So the two straighteners which I have got are these. So this is the most talked about GHD straighteners and this is a babyless straightener. So I have been using both hair straighteners. I don't know why I have so many hair straighteners. I also have a Remington hair straightener as well. But I wanted to sit down today in today's video and just to talk about both hair straighteners, compare both hair straighteners for you guys. So this hair straightener, if I'm not wrong, retails for around £20 roughly. I will link down below exactly how much this hair straightener is. But this one I got from Argos and this was around kind of the 2022 region. Honestly, it's been about a year so I can't remember how much I got this for. And this is a GHD classic hair straightener. And and this one I'm pretty sure retails for around £120 but I will link both hair straighteners down below in the description bar so all of you guys can check out both hair straighteners depending on which one you guys want. So without any further ado let's get into the video. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my uh, cup of coffee. I've had this coffee here for about 10 minutes now and I'm still in the process of uh, drinking this. I was actually off work today and I wanted to use this opportunity to just film for you guys. Harvey's actually out and about today with my auntie. She usually takes him in the afternoon. So I thought I'm gonna use this moment to just film for you guys. And honestly, I wanna film another makeup video for you guys, but I honestly just don't wanna take off this makeup. So as I already had my makeup done, I thought it would be the perfect Time to just make this hair straightening video. Let me just have a sip. Basically, just drank all of that coffee in one go. But yeah, so I have already partitioned my hair in the middle, so I always have a middle parting. So I've already partitioned my hair, and as you guys can see, it is very kind of frizzy as well. So just to make this game really fair, I have just washed my hair because I wanted to start off with fresh hair. So I have washed my hair and I have conditioned my hair in the shower. And when I came out, I air dried my hair whilst I was doing my makeup. And then I have just blow dried the rest of my hair. Not using any combs, just literally a simple blow dryer with my fingers. And that is it. And I've also applied no heat protectants and nothing on my hair as well because I wanted to keep the game really fair and just start with a fresh curl of hair. So this is it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna compare how long each straightener takes to get hot. So, and I'm just gonna talk about both hair straighteners as well. I'm gonna switch them both on. So this is a button on button and that is switched on and that makes a noise so this one doesn't make a noise and this one does both of these hair straighteners don't shut off after a certain amount of time i do own a this cup is distracting me so i'm just going to move this so this hair straightener just made a noise but i was moving my cup so i don't know if you guys have caught that but this hair straightener has made a noise so i'm pretty sure this one is already hot and i can feel the kind of hotness over here this hair straightener is also on so both of them have uh, got warm in about 30 seconds so both of them say that they do get hot in 30 seconds which is correct they both have this one has a kind of on and off um switch and this one just has a button so this one actually you can choose the temperatures so if you guys can see there you can choose the temperatures the lowest temperature is 140 and the highest is 235 i believe this is in 230 but this doesn't have an option where you can choose the temperature when i did get this hair straightener i was actually disappointed at the fact that i couldn't choose a temperature whether i actually use a different setting of temperature no i always use my hair straightener in the hottest one i've never kind of looked at the lower speeds and the lower temperatures i always use it in the hottest so whether that bugs me not really um i think it was just a thing where when i was comparing my hair straighteners so now both of these are on this one has a much longer plate 
So if you have kind of really thick hair, you might want to invest your money in the GHD Max because that has a bigger plate. This one has a very tiny plate, it's so small. Compared to this one, it has a very long plate and you guys can compare in size as well. The GHD is much smaller, so obviously that makes a difference to the plate. So firstly, I'm just going to start off with one side of the hair with one straightener and the other side with a another straightener. Okay, so like I said, I have already partitioned my hair, so I'm just going to take half and half onto each side. And then I'm just going to take a rubber band, just because I really don't want to get both sides mixed up. So I'm just going to roughly tie this with a band with a little bodge sticking out there. But now I'm gonna go into this side. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Babyless hair straightener. So it all depends on you guys and the thickness of your hair. Some of you guys may need to part your hair. I can always straighten without parting my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just straighten without having to part it. So I'm just straightening the kind of top parts first. I'm literally finding this so difficult because I have got no mirror in front of me so I've got my laptop which is reflecting the viewer from the camera and then I'm just kind of staring into the viewer and I'm trusting the viewer to tell me when my hair is straight so literally I am just kind of brushing the straightener through my hair and this is basically how I straighten my hair. My hair is very easy, so when a heat um, applicator is applied to my hair, any kind of a heat appliance, I can, my hair will just mold into whatever it wants straight away. So as you guys can see, my hair is basically straight already. I'm just gonna take some from the back. So as you guys can see, my hair straightens so quick. I would say, what was that, under a minute? My hair straightened in. So this is why I find straightening my hair so quick and easy. Never have to worry about it. So this is it straightened. I feel like though with the Babyless hair straightener, I feel like I need to really tug my hair. Like when I put my hair in there, I'm actually pulling quite hard. I find that the straightener isn't just going through my hair really nice and smoothly itself the way it should be but this is the side with the babyless straightener and i think it's done really well i mean it looks really nice so now i'm going to go in with the side this side with the ghd straightener and i'm gonna see how it looks so i'm gonna leave this onto this side as you guys can see this side is more frizzy and this side isn't I'm going to go into this side now and again focusing from the top first so straight away with the GHD I feel like it's running through my hair much more smoother and then like I said the thing I feel with the GHD is because it's got a small plate I need to take so many more streaks through my hair but I feel like it is so soft. Like, look, the hair just goes so nicely just out of the other end of the straightener, which I really do like. Can you guys see, though, that this side of the hair is looking a little bit more sleek? So I feel like it is straightening really well. And it's so soft as well. It's really leaving my hair really nice and soft. I do feel like, though, that this side is a little less static. And I feel like this side is becoming more static. So I'm just going to brush this through and there you go. Literally both hair straighteners have straightened my hair within a minute. So within a minute or half a minute, less than a minute, whatever you want to say, both sides of my hair have been straightened. And if you guys can see, my hair pretty much looks the same on both sides. Both sides, it has straightened it really well. 
I'm trying to feel my hair if one side of the hair is softer than the other. So both sides of my hair feel the same. Both sides of my hair have straightened the same as well. And I feel like both sides are really soft and the job has been done with both hair straighteners and you cannot tell that I've used two different hair straighteners. So the outcome of the video, the goal of the video was to see whether spending over £100 on a hair straightener is just the same thing as spending about £20 on a hair straightener. And well, I will let you guys also be the judge of this and you guys can see from this video, from reviewing both the hair straighteners, how the hair looks and whether spending you know a hundred pounds or 20 pounds is even necessary but in my eyes i have felt like honestly you guys i've just got the same outcome from using a cheaper hair straightener so i think if you guys are looking to invest some money in a hair straightener and you guys haven't got the budget for a GHD. I wouldn't even threat about it. I wouldn't even put myself in that situation. I would just go out there, go to Argos, and I would just get myself, grab one of these Babyliss or even Remington hair straighteners. They honestly do the same job. That is why I have still got this hair straightener. And I just use both of them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know why I have so many hair straighteners and I do honestly use all of them. So don't ask why I have all of them and why I always use all of them in turn. But I do have all of these hair straighteners and like I said, don't fret about it. I think both straighteners do the perfect job. So I would definitely recommend both of them. But that is going to be it for this very short video. I just wanted to give an overview of what I thought about both hair straighteners. But that is it guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick small review comparing two different hair straighteners and if you guys liked this video and you guys want me to do more comparisons then do let me know, do leave some comments down below and also don't forget if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel my new goal for this year is to really dedicate and focus on my youtube so please guys do help the tall beauty family grow and hopefully i will see every single one of you in my next video bye guys